What's up guys, in this video we are going to be replacing our R6 animations right here, the default ones, with some custom, cooler animations that we're going to be making later on in the video. I had a lot of comments on my other videos asking for an R6 tutorial with this whole theme, so that's what we're going to do today. So now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on game settings right up here. And now if you haven't saved your game already, it's going to go ahead and ask you to save your game. But otherwise, if you do already have your game saved, then you can click on game settings, open it up, a window like this should appear, go down to the avatar tab right here, and then change the avatar type from R15 to R6, just like this. Now it'll ask you to press save, so go ahead and do that, and then it's going to prompt you asking whether or not you would like to proceed. You can click on yes, and this will change your default animations to R6 animations. Next off, in order to actually replace our animations with some new ones, we need to create our own animations. So what we're going to do is go up here to the avatar tab, click on the rig builder right here, and you can insert a R6 rig type rig. And I'm just going to be using a block rig for this. So you can click on that and that should import a rig into your workspace right here. Now how we actually make animations in Roblox Studio is we use this tool right up here called the Animation Editor. If you don't know too much about this, I've got a few other videos on my channel that you can find right up here in this card. Otherwise, if you do already know a few things about animating, you can go ahead and start making your own animations. The first one we're going to be going over is the run animation, so let's work on that first. So what you're going to do is hover over your dummy. You can see that there's a blue outline around it because it has been properly rigged. If we click on this, you'll be prompted to name your animation. So I'm just going to name this to R6 Walk Animation, just like this. And then click on Create and your keyframes and everything will be right here. So I just made this very basic walking animation right here. It's just moving the legs a little bit and the arms. Super simple, but that's what I'm going to be using for today. And now there are a few things that we need to adjust within our animation to make it so we can actually use it as a walking animation. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is click on this looping button right down here. This will make sure that our animation has looping enabled just like this and it will run super smoothly. Next we need to click on these three dots right over here and set the animation priority to movement. This will make it so whenever we move our animation will play. And next, last but not least, we need to click on the three dots over here once again and click on Publish to Roblox. Now this window will pop up and it's going to ask you for a title of your animation, a description, which can be super simple, like subscribe to Rusty Silly Band, or any other description that you would ever want to, otherwise it's completely optional and you don't need to do that. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you're making your game in a group, either with friends or just with workers or anybody that you could be making this game with, if you're making the game in a group, you need to change the creator from me to the actual group, if that makes sense. So say I was making a game inside of Silly Devs, I would change the creator from me to Silly Devs instead of having it on me. After we have everything set up perfectly right here, we're going to click on Submit. This will load up and then it's going to give you your animation ID right here. When we click on this animation ID, you can see it'll go ahead and copy the ID right to our clipboard automatically for us. So now we can close off this window right here and let's insert a script into server script service. To do so, we click on server script service, click on the plus icon to the right of that and then insert a script just like that. You can feel free to name the script to whatever you want to. I'm just going to leave it as script though for the sake of the tutorial. However, let's go ahead and get our walk animation ID. So we're going to say local walk animation ID will be equal to our quotation marks, RBX asset ID colon forward slash forward slash and then our animation ID right there that we can just copy and paste. Closing off the script now, we can go back into our animation editor right here click on the three dots and then go ahead and click on create new. This will prompt us to name a new animation once again. So let's go ahead and name this one to our R6 idle animation. Once again, we're going to repeat the process of making an animation and I'll show you guys the properties that we need to change in order to get scripting. So I just got done making this idle animation. It is once again, super simple. 
And so what we need to do is turn on looping once again, is this button to the right. And then we click on the three dots right here, set the animation priority over to idle, just like that. And then we can go ahead, click on the three dots again, and click on publish to Roblox. Once again, this is going to ask for the title, description, and creator. I'm just going to leave this as blank and click on submit. After that loads up, we can copy our animation ID once again, close the window right here, and open up our script once again. Here's where we get to say local idle animation ID will be equal to quotation marks, our same RBX asset ID, colon, forward slash, forward slash, and then our animation ID just like that. So closing off the script again, let's go ahead and get animating one more time for a jump animation. So you can click on the three dots once more, click on create new, and rename this one to R6 jump animation, just like that. So now clicking on create, you'll have brand new keyframes and everything, and you can go ahead and create your new animation. So I just got done with this simple animation. There are a few things that we're going to be doing differently with this animation here. The first thing is that we're not going to turn on looping because we only want the player to do the jump animation once and that might be all the time that they have for. Another good tip is to keep it fairly short. You don't want it to be too long otherwise the jumping animation will be cut short because of the falling animation that you can also make. Anyways, we're not going to turn on looping this time. Click on the three dots one more time, go to the animation priority, and we're going to actually keep this one on core. Next, we go ahead, click on the three dots to the left over here, and click on publish to Roblox. Once again, this will ask you for another title, description, and creator. All of these are optional except for the creator. So after all that, you can just click on submit just like this and then go ahead and copy your ID just like that. Now we can close the window, open up our script one more time and get our jump animation ID. So our jump animation ID will be equal to quotation marks, RBX asset ID, colon, forward slash, forward slash, and then our jump animation ID right there. Now we can close off the animation editor because we no longer need it. And now we can get finishing scripting. So the next variable we're going to get will be for our players variable. And this will be equal to game get service players just like this. And now let's go ahead and create a function for whenever the character gets added. So we're going to say local function on character added just like this parentheses, and then we put character as the parameter inside of this function. Next, let's go ahead and get our humanoid variable, which will be equal to our character wait for child with a capital W, F, and C. We'll do use parentheses and quotation marks for this, and then a capital H to find our humanoid just like that. Now we can go ahead and get our animate script, which will be the little script inside of the player that controls all of their animations. Let me show you. So if we click play real quick, you can see as I'm in the workspace is that if we open up the Explorer, is that if we open up in the workspace inside the Explorer and we can see my character right here. Your character should be right here too if you are following along. Go ahead and open up your character and you can see a little animate script inside of your character. Now if you open this up, you can see a ton of different values and these are all the different animations that you can change, edit, and even see if you want to. Now opening up a specific one, let's just grab the walk one. You can see that every one of these values has a little animation inside of it and these animations have an animation ID. So all we're really doing is that we're accessing this script and then we're changing the animation IDs inside of each of these values here so that way we can basically replace our animations inside of the player if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and click on the stop button once again and get back to scripting. So our animate script will be equal to character and this will be equal to wait for child quotation marks animate just like that because that's the name of the script. Next we say animate script dot walk dot walk anim dot animation ID will be equal to our walk animation ID just like that. 
Next, we do the exact same thing for our idle animation. So we're going to say animate script dot idle dot animation one because the idle animation actually has two different animations. So we're just going to be changing the first animation inside of our idle for this tutorial. However, you can change however many you want to. So after our animation one, we just say dot animation ID will be equal to our idle animation ID. We repeat this process one more time for our jump animation. So we say dot jump after our animate script dot jump anim dot animation ID will be equal to our jump animation ID just like that. And you can keep on going on and on for however many different animations you'd like to change, which is pretty cool and can add a huge amount of custom ability to your Roblox game. So now we need to create a function for whenever our player gets added. So we're going to say local function on player added parentheses and this is going to take the parameter of player just like that. Next we say player dot character appearance loaded. We're going to connect our on character added function to this and we get to get rid of the parentheses just right after that function. So it should look like this player.characterAppearanceLoaded, connect on character added just like that. Next, we grab our players variable that we made up here. We say players.playerAdded, we connect a, we connect our on player added function just like this, and we get rid of the parentheses just like that. So this is the script. What we're gonna go ahead and do is just go over it really quick. So here's our walk animation ID that we made earlier. The same with the idle and jump animation ID. These are just the animation IDs that we made. So we're just storing them here inside the script. This little variable right here will get the players from the little player service right here inside of our explorer. This is the function that we made for whenever a character will be added. And we're using the parameter of character so that whenever we can grab our humanoid from the character, we can do that. And we can even grab our animate script from the character and using that animate script we can change all of the animation IDs that we want to. Next down here we create another function that will basically run this function whenever a player joins and then we connect that function whenever a player does join so that way whenever the player joins it will go ahead and run this function so that whenever the character loads, it will go ahead and affect their character just like that. Anyways, we can click on play right now to go ahead and test this out. So joining the game here, you should see that I now have my custom walk animation. If I stand still, you can see my custom idle animation playing. And if I jump, you can see my backflip animation playing just like that. Anyways, I think this is really cool. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.